Stable Diffusion has emerged as the top choice among those intrigued by AI-generated art. It's open source and can be utilized locally on your computer without internet connectivity. This grants complete control over your generated images, the liberty to produce NSFW content, and eliminates the need for subscription plans like those for Midjourney or Leonardo AI. Although Stability AI recently introduced Stable Diffusion 3, the current accessible version remains SDXL since Stable Diffusion 3 is still in its early preview stage and not publicly accessible. To engage with SDXL, you'll need a graphical user interface. In this video, I'll showcase all the user interface options available for working with SDXL models on your Mac. I'll also outline their strengths and weaknesses, aiding you in selecting the most suitable tool for installation. Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111 is among the most recognized user interfaces for executing Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion Web UI is highly popular for its versatility as it can perform a wide range of tasks allowing users to engage in text-to-image generation, image-to-image -image generation, sketch-to-image generation, in-painting, out-painting and fine-tuning of their own models. It also provides extensive customization options that enable users to influence the image generation process. It also supports image optimizers such as ControlNet, Refiners or VAE. A key factor contributing to its popularity is its openness to third-party extensions. Consider Animate Diff, for example. This extension allows users to create animations from text or images using Stable Diffusion. And you can install it pretty easily on Stable Diffusion Web UI. Stable Diffusion Web UI is an open source tool, which means that its source code undergoes continuous review by a vast community of developers, ensuring the absence of any malicious elements. Furthermore, it receives ongoing enhancements and improvements from this community. Being open source also means that it is freely available for use. One significant drawback of Stable Diffusion Web UI is its sluggish performance. While I was able to generate images smoothly using my MacBook Air M2 with 8GB RAM using Generation 1 and Generation 2 Stable Diffusion models, the experience with SDXL on the Web UI was quite different. The Web UI kept crashing, rendering the entire process practically unusable. I had to resort to running Stable Diffusion Web UI on Google Colab, which unfortunately requires a paid plan. However, for those of you with high-powered Macs equipped with ample GPU resources and seeking to do more than just image generation, such as fine-tuning your own models or integrating third-party extensions, this may still be a viable option. Stable Diffusion Web UI is accessible for download from a GitHub repository. However, its installation process requires slightly more complex steps, presenting another drawback for this application. If you haven't already watched my video tutorial on installing it, I suggest giving it a look. ComfyUI is a user interface designed for Stable Diffusion and it's becoming increasingly popular among users of Stable Diffusion. Both developers and artists favor it for several reasons. Firstly, it operates at a faster pace compared to Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1.1.1.1. Comfy UI selectively loads only essential components, unlike Automatic 1.1.1.1, leading to reduced memory usage and quicker generation times. Secondly, ComfyUI offers great flexibility in its customization options. For instance, you can effortlessly generate two images with different CFG scales within a single workflow and compare the outcomes. Another factor to consider is that ComfyUI provides transparent visibility into its operations. 
Therefore, if you're someone who's curious about the inner workings, ComfyUI might be the perfect fit for you. ComfyUI operates on the concept of workflows, which may seem unfamiliar at first, but once you become proficient with it, you gain the capability to save, reuse, and share your workflows with others. Within a workflow, you can save all settings, configurations, and even prompts. The concept of workflows in ComfyUI also presents a drawback. It involves a learning curve to become comfortable with the tool. It may take some time to become accustomed to and understand how to use it effectively. Another drawback is its installation process, which is not as intuitive. Similar to automatic 1111, it requires some complex installation steps. I will leave an installation guide in the description. ComfyUI is open source, meaning it's free to use. Overall, it's an excellent alternative for running SDXL. It offers comparable, if not superior, configuration options to automatic 1111, but operates more quickly. Therefore, if you're comfortable with more complex installation steps and a learning curve at the outset, ComfyUI is an excellent option for you. But here's a big heads up. I haven't been able to run SDXL using ComfyUI on my Mac because I don't have enough RAM. So, this recommendation is based on what I've seen other Mac users with more GPU power do successfully. DrawThings is an app readily available on the App Store, allowing you to execute stable diffusion directly on your Mac without an internet connection. The app is free to download and does not include any in-app purchases. The creators designed this app to perform efficiently even on devices with limited GPU power. Additionally, it is optimized for Core ML, a framework that enables the execution of machine learning models on Apple devices. In essence, DrawThings maximizes the capabilities of Apple devices, resulting in faster execution of stable diffusion models due to its optimization for the underlying workings of Apple devices. You can also use DrawThings on your iPhone or iPad, but it takes a considerable amount of time to generate images. I tested it on my MacBook Air M2 with 8 GB of RAM, and it took several minutes to create an image using the SDXL-based Juggernaut model. However, it did work, unlike with Automatic 1111 or ComfyUI. The app is user-friendly, requiring no complicated installation steps. Just download it from the App Store. It supports stable diffusion models 1, 2 and SDXL. You can utilize the official stable diffusion models or others available from sources like Civit AI or Hugging Face. DrawThings offers numerous features, including in-painting mask, out-painting, text-to-image generation, text-guided image-to-image generation and more. Additionally, it includes all the image generation settings designed to control the stable diffusion models during image generation, such as guidance scale, steps, strength and image sizes. With DrawThings, you can also utilize refiners, VAE and ControlNet. However, there are some limitations. You cannot fine-tune your own models, and when you import a model into the app, it creates an optimized copy for faster performance, which occupies additional space on your Apple device. However, DrawThings remains an excellent application that allows you to use SDXL models for image generation, even on devices with lower processing power. It's an ideal option for those who wish to generate images quickly without engaging in more complex operations like model training or utilizing third-party applications. I must mention that there are other tools available for running stable diffusion locally, but they either come with a price tag or lack support for SDXL models. Therefore, I didn't feature them in my video. If you believe 
I overlooked anything. Please feel free to let me know in the comments. In conclusion, the selection of a tool hinges on your specific requirements. If your priority is straightforward image generation without dealing with complex installation or a learning curve, then DrawThings is the ideal option for you. However, if you desire additional features such as the ability to fine-tune your own model or utilize text-to-video functionalities and available extensions, then Comfy UI is the better choice, especially considering its faster performance compared to Automatic 1111. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.